If you travel, you know that you need reliable luggage to haul all your stuff around. And this is true even in the future. We're entering the age of autonomous robots, like the Jita personal cargo robot. The Jita is a circular-shaped robot about knee-high with two big wheels. It's got a camera on the front that allows it to actually see you and follow you around. Carrying your stuff wherever you go, like this guy just walking down the street with the strange blue robot following right behind him. Jita adapts to its owner's pace and avoids obstacles while creating maps of places it's been to become even more autonomous. It can roll around for up to eight hours and can recharge in three. It weighs 50 pounds and can carry an extra 40 pounds of cargo. So how much are you willing to pay for Jita? Vespa, known for their scooters, is selling the Jita for $3,300. I wonder if this robot ran into someone, would it be charged with battery? All right, speaking of robots, this was bound to happen. Future robots can't all be warehouse bots and cargo carriers. Work is happening right now to make robots seem a little more human and feel a little more human too. It's not just about building robots in the shape of people. Researchers are adding synthetic skin to the mix. This way, robots can feel sensations just like we do. At least, that's the theory. Researchers at the Technical University of Munich in Germany have created the H1. It's the first robot covered with artificial skin that works like our own, with cells that make up a kind of nervous system. A robot is hugging one of the project researchers with the new skin, and the robot can sense the person through touch. So you might be asking, what's the difference between this kind of touch and the typical sensors that you find on other robots? It's all about computing power. Our skin has about 5 million or so skin receptors. If you create artificial skin with that many receptors, you would need a whole building of computers to process the information for just one robot. This new skin cuts down the computer power because it uses individual cells in the shape of hexagons that processes things like proximity and pressure the same way our brain interprets it. It's actually really cool. So the next time you hug a robot, it might one day feel the same thing you do. You know, so it doesn't actually, well, crush you. All right, what comes to mind when you hear augmented reality or mixed reality? A game on your phone like Pokemon Go? Placing a virtual dinosaur in your kitchen through your camera's app? Sure, that's fun twice, but what you might not know is how much AR is being used in various fields for actual work. We have engineers and architects using AR to work with designs, from wiring to construction. This future tech is the work of a company called Fologram, which creates mixed reality applications that can be used in conjunction with Microsoft HoloLens headsets. The apps can be used for modeling or fabrication, customized depending on the need. So for example, the AR overlay can show where something needs to be placed, what shapes are needed, and so on. All hands-free since something you wear and not something that you have to hold. I'm building a house right now, and this would be great to have. So just when you thought AR was all about fun and games, well, now you have to use it for work too. All right, now that you're a little bit more informed about the uses of augmented reality beyond games, there's something else on the horizon, AR graffiti. There's an app called Mark AR, and the future plan is for it to be a social network, but not like Facebook or Instagram. You know how you occasionally see a building or bridge, a sign, whatever, that's been tagged with spray paint? It's kind of like that. But instead of using real spray paint and committing real acts of vandalism, you're using AR through your phone to virtually spray paint a wall or other surface, like this guy waving his phone around in this promotional video. The system will store the location of your new art so it can be seen by other people who are using the same app. I'm not quite sure I see the point from the standpoint of it being useful, but it's certainly something that could potentially be abused. Like, what if someone just using this AR would tag a business or someone's house with offensive messages or maybe images? Well, places be off limits the same way certain AR games are regulated. Down the line, the app's developers plan to test mark AR in one city to see what happens. Stopping graffiti has become unmanageable in so many cities, the effort to reduce it has been a complete wash. Hey, thanks for watching. Now a few things. Don't forget to click the like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. And for more digital know-how, check out all these other great links.